What is up, Ohio State Buckeyes fans? It's your old friend, Andy Cartim, here with the Ohio State Buckeyes Daily Blitz right here on Fan Stream Sports. Happy Saturday. Happy win column. As the Buckeyes knock off previously undefeated and number five, Indiana, 38 to 15, and it wasn't that close. Uh, Will Howard passed for two touchdowns, rushed for another. Travion Henderson ran for a score. As number two, Ohio State beat previously undefeated number five, Indiana, 38 to 15 on Saturday. All Ohio State has to do now is beat the team up north next Saturday, and it will earn a return trip to the Big Ten champion, Big Ten championship game uh, for the first time since 2020. And uh, how exciting will that be as when that happens? It'll be in a rematch against number one, Oregon. Of course, remember the last time Ohio State played Oregon, that 32-31 to 31 wild one back on October 12th. The Hoosiers had their best chance to beat the Buckeyes for the first time since 1988, but special teams mistakes uh, disrupted their effort, uh, as did an, an Ohio State defense that sacked quarterback Curtis Rourke five times. Late in the first half, Indiana punter James Evans fumbled a snap. He was buried at his own seven-yard line. The Buckeyes took over and quickly turned that into a four-yard touchdown run by Henderson, giving the Buckeyes a 14-7 lead. Early in the second half, Caleb Downs filled in an Evans punt at the Ohio State 21. He ran down the right sideline, cut back to the middle, and then outran everybody else for a touchdown to put the Buckeyes up 21-7. It was the first time a Buckeye had returned a punt for a touchdown since... 2014. It's been a while. Howard finished 22 of 26 for 201 yards. Emeka Buka had seven catches for 80 yards and a touchdown. Indiana scored on its first possession and its last possession. Both short runs by Lawson, who had 79 yards for the Hoosiers. Rourke was 8 for 18 for 68 yards. Indiana's 151 total yards was its lowest of the season, and it was the most points surrendered by the Hoosiers defense at 38. So Indiana's special season is now has now been blemished by the Buckeyes. It is the 30th straight win for the Buckeyes over Indiana. Indiana was eyeing its first conference crown since sharing one with two other teams back in 1967. That now will not happen. Ohio State did not waste any opportunities presented by the Hoosiers when they got sloppy. The Buckeyes led 14-7 to at the break. To control in the second half, an offensive line patched together because of multiple injuries performed surprisingly well. Uh, as far as poll implications here, you know, some voters I think were obviously unsure of Indiana because it hadn't played a nationally ranked team until this week. And now after this one, the Hoosiers will drop, and I expect them to drop dramatically, uh, and they should. For the Buckeyes, Will Howard made history by completing 80% 80, 80 of his passes for the sixth time this season, no other Ohio State quarterback had done that. He completed his first 14 passes in a row and finished with an 85% completion rate. So all in all, a good day at the horseshoe. It's good to see Ohio State step up. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of people, a lot of doubters had Ohio State not performing well in this one. I don't know why. Uh, this one seemed like a pretty easy one to predict before the game, uh, especially with the history here between these two teams. Uh, Ohio State, of course, has the team up north next Saturday. We will preview that for you as well as talk some more Buckeyes Hoosiers here this week. Uh, I'd love to hear what you thought about the game. At IndyCar Tim on X on threads on that new blue sky thing that I'm on, apparently, my publicist says. At IndyCar Tim, you can find me on all of the platforms there. I would love to hear from you about the Buckeyes or leave me a comment in the comment section here underneath the video at fanstreamsports.com and our YouTube channel. We'll do it again. Until next time, boys and girls, we'll see you.